let's use a standing move to talk about other status parameters. Set the move type to whatever best suits what you have in mind. Defense type determines the defender's reaction when attacked. You have options for standing moves, running moves, a generic reaction, as well as reactions for single or multi-hit moves. For multi-hit moves, you can have the defender collapse after being attacked. Set SFX determines what sound effect plays when the move connects. For moves that hit and transfer into a grapple, see the grapple data for sound effect settings. Damage determines how much damage a move does. I recommend checking preset moves to get a feel for a good damage value. Other flags such as illegal move, submission move, and critical can be toggled on and off as appropriate for your move. Attack lowered flags make it so that a move is less effective if the attacker has taken damage to the applicable body part. For realism, I like to use these flags on the body parts used to perform the move. If the move has an active B flag, you can set the amount of self-damage received. Finisher display affects the match result screen when you end a match with the move. Normally, you should display the move name, but if it's a pin, then update the settings as appropriate. Showmanship determines how flashy a move is, while Move Rank determines how impressive it is. S is the top rank, while E is the bottom rank. Sexual Move determines if the attacker and defender's genders affect the move. With this set to On, set the Animation Library Move Type to Grapple Switch to open a new set of Animation Library options. These animations will change depending on the genders of the attacker and defender. Remember, you need to set the flag and move type for these settings to take effect. Also, this is only possible with the following move categories. Grapple, Back Grapple, Corner Grapple, and Opponent Down. Counter style determines what type of move the defender uses when a counterattack activates. The actual counter move is determined by the defender's return skill and can't be set here. Choose a counter style that matches your vision for the move. Counter percentage determines how often a counter will occur. Escape settings determine if a rope break is possible for holds and submission moves. In general, this should be left on, but for moves where the opponent is suspended or otherwise can't move, I recommend changing it to off. 